Some people would say it's a dying art, but it's still practiced here in the Mahoning Valley by a lady who not only practices it, she teaches. I believe uh, people have been decorating eggs since the beginning of time, but it wasn't until uh, Peter Carl Fabergé lit a light bulb in everyone's mind that, uh, gee, we can do better than chicken eggs. I really got started in the early 70s. There was a uh, lady that was traveling cross-country with a new product and so um, uh, this being very new very new for all of us everyone just grabbed it it was the time I had 30 students a week what's the one you're most proud of? there are several the, the one we did one uh, last fall that when the ostrich egg opens up for music plays a lot of work last summer I taught that and then there's others that, uh, that are intricately designed. I like eggs that uh, do something, that are interesting. For instance, when this one opens, um, the light goes on. Neil, this is a uh, Rhea egg, and the egg inside is a goose egg. And it, well, the music plays, and the doll inside is porcelain. Ruth, you, you, you've done this for a number of years now. What, what, what fascination is there to you? I think uh, doing something different, doing so, a newer one. Or, oh, look what I did. You know, so many people, um, and I get a thrill out of others being excited over what they do. We've had a wonderful time here in the Mahoning Valley. We've met the lady that makes those eggs just like Fabergé used to. And there's the Pullen Library. Remember that place where you get a good sandwich and a good book. And if you get lost, you can find the way with AAA. Find Hi. the way with AAA. Absolutely. Like you got those trip ticks. I like that. That's got to be a solid egg. Is that a certain kind of egg? No, it's not. It's any kind of egg. They do as small as a quail egg, which is very tiny, and they do them all the way up to ostrich eggs, which are the largest. Oh, okay. So they put a pole in it to get the egg yolk and the white right. out of it, they right? They suck the, the inside out, and then they start doing that. She claims that she can teach you to do a simple egg, I'm assuming, in one day. I think that'd be pretty simple for a but day. But it's kind of for a us. dying art. Oh, she used to have lots and lots of students, as she mentioned, and now she's down to three or four four huh. students, so it's... it's what's, the, what's the price range of those eggs? Like some of that intricate stuff? Under $100 expensive. up to probably thousands for some of those really ornate ones that yeah. she had there. With and, the dolls and, on top. Right, so the cute. dolls and the dancing. The one in that yeah. little electric train inside was running, which incredible. Yeah. Really yeah. Are there a bunch of people in there looking at them and trying to buy them? Well, this there? is a place where they, they do the teaching. That's uh -huh. where we're at. And they sell the supplies there, too, where you can oh. you can buy the things to make them yourself. So they probably, mm -hmm. re, they probably supply retailers, too, somewhere, I bet. Not necessarily. They go to shows and things, these craft oh. shows, and that, that's where they show them off there. 